guys, welcome back to Coastal Kitten Care. If you're new to this channel, I'm Lou, and I'm a teen who has a passion for rescuing and saving orphan kittens. I'm gonna show you guys how I do a lime dip on my ringworm foster kittens. I like um, a vet or like anything like that. I'm just, I do, I work with a lot of kittens and I'm very familiar with cats and kittens. And um, I'm just showing you all what my shelter tells me to do. So if your shelter tells you to do the same thing, you can kind of see how it's done, I guess, if that makes any sense. Here it gives us this thing of, it's called Lime Sulfur Solution. And I'm not really sure this is an eight ounce bottle. And this is just what the shelter gives us. It has a sticker on this side, but I'm not showing you guys because it has like the shelter information on it. And it, I don't really want to see, I don't really want you guys to like know what shelter I foster through because then you can, you know, figure out what city I live in. But this is it, and it's, so what it says is mix this eight ounce bottle of lime sulfur solution with one gallon of water. Do not prevent the animal, dip the cat and kitten in solution, and, and you just have to make sure they're fully wetted in the solution. But you have to mix this with a gallon of water. So I have a gallon of water here that it, I've already mixed this, I've already used this twice before. They get it every three days. I'm just telling you guys what the shelter tells me to do. Your shelter vet might be different. So don't take this as like how to do it. Well, it can be like how you do it, but like make sure the vet tells you what to do and gives you the stuff. So, um, let me show you guys how I do the dip. What I'm gonna do is put on gloves. I mean, if you have long hair, just to put it up, just to keep it out of the way. Having a box or carrier, this is just a cardboard carrier that I recommend putting the kittens in after the lime dip so it can dry for a few minutes before you let them go play so don't get it everywhere. Dip in a bathroom, like a shower or a bathtub or a sink would work as well, just so you can pour over them and not like worry about it going like everywhere. Doing it in this large bathtub. Here's the kitten. This is the kitten I'm doing first. This is Rowan. So that's why I'm gonna be showing him to you guys first. He'll be explaining everything. I like a like a tall side of bathtub so he can't easily jump out of it or a shower that closes, but anything will work. Well, the angle is not that great, but it's as best that I can do. And if you guys can't fully see the kitten, I'm gonna be showing you guys three more kittens. So hopefully out of all of those, you kind of get the concept. So the first thing, oh, I forgot one last thing. You're gonna wanna have saline solution nearby in case um, you get it in their eyes. So I have this open, just kind of sitting here. I've never had to use it, but just in case. Okay. So I hope you guys can see, I'm not gonna be too focusing on getting a good angle because I'm gonna be focusing on the kitten, so I'm getting it in its eyes. But I'll be showing you guys three more kittens after this, so you know what I'm saying. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just open up this. Then I will hold the kitten and pour some on, just like that. And then I'll rub it in. And then I'll pour some more. Just like that. Now the bag looks spiky and pretty wet. I will flip him over onto his stomach and pour it on and rub it in. It's pretty easy. Then on the, a lot of times on the ground, it, a lot of it will pour onto the ground so their hair is kind of um, like waterproof. I'll take the washcloth to wipe it up off the ground to get it on his face. I'll also, Pour just some onto the washcloth just to kind of get the rest of him. Get his little paws and his ear and then the rest of his stomach. So now that um, you're done, the kitten should be pretty wet and look like that. So now I'm just going to set it in the box to dry and you don't rinse it off or at least the kind that I use. So let's move on to the next kitten. This is the next kitten. It's Penelope. So 
So um, I'm gonna try and do the same thing. Just kind of pour some on her. I think it's, it's back to pretty normal, the setup. Okay, I kind of prefer to use the cloth, but I do try pouring it too, but I don't know. I think the cloth is easier. It's easier to get it on them. So I kind of pour it and use the cloth, but for her, since she's a little more squirmy, cloth works easier for me. So get her armpit, her tail, and then I'm gonna flip her over and get her stomach. Just like that. Now I'm going to get her cute little face. All right, she's done. As you can tell, she's pretty wet. So let's move on to the next kitten. Okay, this is Oliver. I also forgot to mention that is if you have kittens that you're just getting to know or this is your first time doing this, I would recommend having two people to do it so one person can hold the kitten while the other person can put the sol like the solution stuff on it. But if you don't, it's okay. I do it by myself and I have only done this about three times in my life. Or if you have like feral cats or kittens, second person is helpful. Uh, you get the hang of it pretty quickly. The first two times I've done it with help, and this is actually my first time doing it by myself. But, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna put it on its face. It's pretty easy, you just kind of get the kitten damp, and they don't like it. You might think it's like me to be doing this to them, but it has to be done. They only get it for about two more times, and this is kind of what's saving their life because ringworm can get very severe where they get scabs which can turn into infections and infections can get so bad they can help kill the kitten. So, so it has to be done and it's okay. So she's pretty much drenched. I'm add a little bit more on her back probably. Okay, it's pretty good. Now let's move on to the last kitten. The next kitten that I have is Hazel. She definitely hates it the most. She's also the most shy cat. So um, you might see her squirming around. It might look like I'm holding her tightly, but um, it just kind of has to be done. And she's okay. <laughs> like she's not getting hurt. As you can tell, she's already starting to scratch. So I have to hold her kind of very, in a weird way. It's okay, baby. I do feel sorry for them, but in a few minutes, this, this stuff will dry, and then they won't even notice it. Okay. Let's pour a little on her. It should be a little quicker. Okay. The bat's pretty good. Now let's flip her to her stomach, which is what she hates the most. So I'll just hold her kind of like this and put it on her stomach. It's okay, baby. Her stomach's all good. And now let's get her face. Hi, cutie. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. And now that it's all over her, I'll put her in the box. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of this is what the bathtub looks like now that I'm finished. Um, so what I'll do is just turn on the bathtub. Well, first I'll put on this cap. Take this out, turn off the bathtub and rinse it out and then bleach it. Since I do have ringworm, you know, obviously I don't want to keep ringworm. So now the bathtub's all clean and you might be wondering if it stains cloth. The washcloths I use, like I've never had a problem with it staining. I do use white washcloths. But I wouldn't use something that you'd be like completely mad about if it did stain because it does have a chance to stain because it is bright yellow. So, yeah. I'm off my gloves and I'm just going to wash my hands. Washing my hands, I put on fresh gloves and now I'm just going to kind of just finish cleaning out their area over there and then I'll um, see you guys once I'm done. In this box for about five to ten minutes, I'm just going to let them out because their coats have almost dried. One kitten. Roman, 
Oliver, are you coming next? Oh, Oliver's coming next. And then Penelope. Oh. Hey, and then Oliver. You coming, Hazel? Normally, she just likes to get picked up out of here. She's definitely different than the others. <laughs> so now that this is like this, I am just going to close it up and put it over here just so the door won't shut on them. I'm going to weigh them and just kind of play with them. Steam off the whole room just because it has like room, you know, and I don't want room room to spread to my other pets or my siblings or anything like that. I will just take a little bit of bleach and just kind of put one drop and two drops. And that's it. And I'll put the lid back on and turn it on and steam off. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below if you ever, like, fostered ringworm kittens or anything like that. And, yeah, bye.